Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Birgitta and this year I'm watching and reacting to all the participants in Eurovision Song Contest 2021. We have reached Russia uh, and I've been looking forward to seeing what Russia is going to send this year. Uh, they are usually going for the win and try to send interesting stuff. Uh, last year uh, uh, the UNO song was um, something of a guilty pleasure for me. Uh, it was funny uh, and cheeky. Uh, I don't know what they're going to send this year. don't know what to expect because you never know but I hope it's quality. I'm a bit uh, worried about uh, the title Russian w woman. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> I hope it's a good thing. Uh, the singer is Manisha. Uh, probably not pronounced like that. Let's see what they're going to do. Oh, it's live. Thank you. I like that she sings in Russian. Oh. I'm pausing. Many years ago, uh, I had a friend and they had been traveling uh, over Russia and uh, like with car, I think. And they used to listen to this band called, it's a Russian band called Bravo. Uh, and it has this... Um, it's like, um, what do you call the, you know, with the rhythm uh, um, and the, it's, if I remember, it's like it's, it's with the backbeat. Uh, and this reminds me a lot of, of that, which is a good thing because I have listened to Bravo quite a bit. Uh, it's always that oompa oompa kind of thing and it's uh, fun and uh, makes me happy. Uh, so this is good. I'm pausing again. Uh, I like the fact that how the choir is, um, you know, how they stand around her instead of just like back behind her. Uh, I think that she has, uh, she's very charismatic, this lady. Uh, I almost wish that I, or, you know, I wish that I understood uh, what the song is about. I'm sure I'm going to find out before um, the competitive, the final or uh, the semi-final. Um, yeah, let's continue. I really like the beat too, because that's the cool thing. I understand that. Cool. Interesting. I like when, when uh, different uh, nations, so when they send like something that is you know, because Europe, you know, we're, we're diverse and there's so much um, diversity. So I think it's a shame that we, we, it doesn't always show in Eurovision. So I'm happy when it does. I'm happy she sang in Russian. It sounds Russian. You know, everything about this is Russian. Um, and that, I don't know how the rest of Europe feel because or uh, is going to feel about that. Uh, it might not be understood because it's a bit too exotic perhaps but I like it and I really like that beat uh, and with the, the, the trumpet and that, that I think that's really cool um, it might go both ways I guess um, no I think this is going to move on to the final yeah I, I think it's going to stand out so much and she's so charismatic so uh, yeah they're going to go for it uh, is it going to win don't no, I don't. Th I'm gonna say no. Uh, but I'm interested to see where it's gonna place. Uh, I'm. I'm happy about this. Uh, you know, because last year was kind of a cheeky, fun, you know, uh, song that they sent. That they went this direction because they've been trying with the pop songs. They've been trying with the ballads. They they were robbed with a million voices. I really think that should have won that year. Um, so they're trying new things and I appreciate that. Um, but what do you think? Is this a winner? What, is it going to do well? Um, let me know in the comments and have a great day. Bye.